Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of my first Mega Base. Alright, uh, straight away we are just getting some more Behemoth Biters coming in and damaging our walls. That's that's fine. That's fine. We'll just uh, reinforce that area. Alright, now what I want to do today, well first let's cover where we are. We are ready to launch a rocket if we had any control units. Uh, so this rocket is, what are we at, uh, products finished zero, rocket parts 23 of 100 and as you can see they're just slowly trickling in because we need uh, speed modules which need red circuits. Alright, so red circuits are just a huge problem uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, where's my red circuit? Here we go. They're just naturally slow to produce. So as you can see we're also low on plastic. So what I thought I'd do is something a little bit crazy and do a little a red circuit uh, set up down here that will turn this coal into plastic. And plastic needs coal and petroleum. And with coal liquefaction, you can convert coal into petroleum. So what we want to do is set this up to have some coal going to uh, converting into petroleum and then some of it turning into plastic and then all we need to do is bring in some uh, green circuits and some copper plate and then we can make red circuits here so I've never done coal liquefaction before so we are really just going to uh, play it by ear um, and sort of work out some numbers ourselves so uh, we got almost three red belt, uh, three blue belts here. We got 170. We needed 70 each, so it's sort of it's two and a half. I put it into three with a six to three converter. Um, now what we want to do is we'll have to have. Uh, so let's first have a look. Coal liquefaction needs coal, heavy oil, and steam, and it produces heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum. Um, the, so first of all we note that it needs heavy oil to start. So I've actually got here some heavy oil that I've barreled in preparation. So we can actually kick this off. Um, but, why, okay. Uh, yep, whatever. Alright, I've also got some water here that we can make some steam. And I've got no idea how many, uh, how many of these we are going to need. So I am just going to... Uh, Maybe we will spin these around and oh, let's just do a couple of them, shall we? All right. Uh, maybe, maybe a couple more. There we go. Okay. And so we need to get uh, some one of these coals, and we we don't need much. So I'm just going to divert half one of these over here and it will go up here and then we will uh, do that all right and we probably don't have any burner inserters which is fine we'll just uh we'll power these up the good old-fashioned way and that is with a substation because why not power is going to be an issue eventually uh, but for now we have an abundance of it all right let's just run it over here to the main line there we go cool so now we have steam. Let's uh, pop that steam into a tank, shall we? Alright, uh, just because tanks are cool. Um, I actually don't like that tank's location. How about that tank? There we go. Alright, so we have a fair bit of steam. Now, let's get our factories here. And... What do we want to do? We want to have some coal going to plastic and okay, let's uh, let's just do this. And where can how, how do we want to power this up? Probably something like this. Okay, we want coal liquefaction. So we need heavy oil and light oil and coal, of course. Uh, so I am going to have one lane. Fully diverted, obviously, for for this because that is our key goal. All right. Now 
that means we need to do some trickery to get this other stuff in. And I think that is the simplest trickery that we can do. Alright, there's a repeatable repeatable pattern that we can do. Yes, it is. Uh, and naturally we need our usual uh, one of these kind of deals. And I don't know why I did it on that other side because we can get the old bots to do it for us. Alright. So that needs steel and heavy oil. Uh, what I want to do is I want to feed this heavy oil back in here. That is that is the first goal. To make this self-sustaining, yep. Uh, and then at some point we also want to crack this. And I think to do that, uh, we need to put a tank in here. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay. We're actually going to put a tank uh, right about there. And then we will have a pump attached to that tank. I'm just winging this as we go and I think this is going to work. Alright, we have a pump here uh, and obviously that will need power at some point. Uh, but we will connect that with red wire to this tank and say if the heavy oil is less than uh, I don't know, 2000 then feel free to convert it to, uh, to light oil. So that'll set up our cracking over there. Um, can we can we look at some numbers? All right. This produces. This uses 25 and produces 90. So it produces. Uh, what have we got? 65 heavy oil a second. Uh, every five seconds. Yes. So that is 15 heavy oil a second. It produces uh, only four light oil a second. So 20 every 5 seconds, and it produces 2 petroleum a second. Okay, and how much coal does it use? It uses uh, it uses 2 coal a second. So we could fit, uh, we can fit 20, 22 and a half on a blue belt. Uh, can we, one blue belt can supply 22 and a half, yeah. Alright, so say, let's go with 10 and let's see what happens there. Uh, go, so 3, 4, 5. And then uh, copy that whole thing. Oh, well, that's that's a slight, slight annoyance, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's totally breach our defenses here and uh, place that. Alright. And of course, there was a little bit here. There we go. Uh, and why do we not have power? All right. Uh, hmm. This is not good. All right. Let's uh, quickly zap them. And nothing got destroyed. No. Okay. Uh, looks like somehow they got through in the middle of that. Uh, now I need to put my probe reports back on. Um, I will build a proper defensive perimeter around here, uh, but for now we are just going to do that while I get this going. I'll do that off camera. Um, Alright, so let's uh, let's hook that up. We have power. So we need to hook our steam up. We can do that right about here, I think. There's steam, and now we just need to prime these with heavy oil. Uh, which, here is some I prepared earlier. Alright. Uh, and that's not what I want to do because I want to make sure it doesn't come back out of there. Alright, let's just do that. And now I need one of these. Because you are going to be emptying oil barrel. And get all that oil. And 
we haven't got inserters. Alright. Um, that's fine. We can now at least rip that out. Wonderful. Okay. And inserters. That would have been smart to put in from the get-go, wouldn't it? Alright. And... Yeah, fast inserters. Definitely fast enough. Alright. So these guys are outputting their goods. They've got heaps of steam. Uh, these guys aren't even troubled. That's definitely enough. I feel like it's probably too much for the amount that we have here. Um, but that's alright. Okay, so with 10 of these, uh, what do we say? Each one is, each one is producing uh, 15 heavy oil a second. So we are now producing 150 heavy oil a second. Well, it seems a lot. Yeah, we are. Look at that. It's climbing quite a rate. So we want to convert that into light oil. Um, 150 a second. This produce this uses 20 a second, so we will need eight of these. All right. So let's get that. Uh, well, let's just start them here, and you're doing that. All right, we are going to need to bring our water to a more usable place. Um, I did, I did set the water up. Uh, all right, we will call that water there. Of course. Alright, there we go, and like that, like that, and oops, they're almost out of underground, oops. okay, like that, and then heavy oil goes there, alright, and let's get that doing that. Alright, beautiful. Um, yes, we're going to need that. I've got no lights in here at all. It's sad. There we go. Everyone likes the lights. And we'll have a light here. And you're outputting light oil. Yep, that's fine. Let's, might as well hook that up. Foolish not to. There we go. Alright, so if we copy that. Uh, now, what do we say? We need eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Is that eight? Uh, it is eight. Excellent. So, that is. Let's just make sure we've done our math right. That seems like a lot of heavy oil to white oil. Um, so, every five seconds, this is producing 90, but it's using 25. So,. It is yeah, 65 every 5 seconds, so 15 a second, and we've got 10 of these producing 150 a second, so we are going to be using 150 a second, minus a little bit. Alright, um, let's see if our building train has some underground pipes for me. Uh, excellent, it does. We are going to need a lot of those. In fact, I'm going to grab them all, and we will uh, get this guy to restock. I think we're going to need a lot more. Alright. So that is our light oil. Okay, our heavy oil. Now this is where it gets tricky. So we have eight of these going, which are then producing, um, what do we say, eight and a half of these, which is producing 15 a second. Um, definitely need to bring out the calculator here. Alright, so if we are producing uh, 8.5, 8.5, no, 7.5, sorry, 7.5 times, uh, what do we say, 15 a second is 112 and a half, that's a great number, isn't it? Uh, plus, we are also producing 40 a second from our normal coal uh, liquefaction. Let's just double check that. Um, so we are producing 20 every 5 seconds, so 4 a second and 40, yep. 
So we are producing 152.5 a second. Um, now, I feel like having 10 here has probably ruined our numbers, but anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at what we can use. So this uses uh, 15 a second. So if we do 152.5 divided by 15, we need 10.2. Um, so I think we can... Well, I guess we'll put in 11, because why not? Um, all right, let's do that right here. Let's uh, let's just copy that whole thing. Why not? Because it's the exact exactly the same setup. We just need to change that uh, to that. And copy. That's eight, nine, ten, and eleven because. We're off over, over producing. All right, we are now out of regular. Has our train back? It is wonderful. All right, I'll grab those, and yeah, actually, we really want you to get me more of them. All right. So now we have 10.2. <laughs> oh boy, this numbers are getting crazy. 10.2 of these are producing. Uh, 10 a second, so that is 102 a second, plus, uh, what do we say these were producing, uh, another 20, so we say got 120 petroleum a second, and what could that do, that can produce, that can support 6, is that, oh that can't be right can it, just six plastic production, making 12 a second. I feel like the numbers are way wrong here. All right, this is producing 10 a second. We have we have 11 of them, so that would be 110. Plus the tiny amount we're getting here, which is two a second. Yes, yeah, so that's two a second, and that is uh, 100 a second. 11, well 110, we're producing 102 a second, and we are needing 20 a second, so we can only support uh, 5, well 6 of these, okay, wow that seems really light on doesn't it, um, okay you're producing plastic, yep, all right, let's uh, well let, let's hook it up and actually see what happens, shall we? All right, so um, we need this light oil to be connected. Anyway, um, heavy oil pumps out as long as we don't run dry, and then it all goes to petroleum. And then we need, uh, yep, we also need. Uh, this this hooked up, and we then need another hookup for our light oil, our uh, petroleum, sorry. And we're going to do that in a really awkward way, because why not? Okay, there we go, and. Incredibly awkwardly done, and then you are going to uh, let's not do that. Let's uh, let's do this properly. All right, there is that. We are going to want another one there with that arrangement. Actually, yes. Hang on, hang on. These can go side by side, can't they? Yep, that's that's what we do for this. We bring coal up here, and we have uh, we have soda like that, um, and we only need six of these, so we can just power these on the sides. We don't need to get too hectic. All right. Wow, that just doesn't seem like much, does it? 
and with 12 plastic a second we can produce um, what does this need? two every six seconds so we can uh, we'll say 12 a second uh, times six we can produce 96 okay well that actually works out with a lot of red circuits a second doesn't it just doesn't need uh, that much uh, what is going on here all right let's get some more chem plants from our truck hook the coal uh, there's the other thing I don't think we're using much coal at all either uh, now chem plants I think are in this one yep um, you've probably already filled up with refineries yes you have I'll dump them in now actually I might want to set up another of these anyway let's get back on back on task here um, this is rapidly falling out of control all right so um, these are using these six are using just six coal a second these ten are using uh, 20 coal a second so we could probably actually support all of this on one of these outputs no give that a go all right um, Because then we can get a few more of these up and running. And what if I then went and did this in the most awkward possible way? Yeah, pretty much that way. All right. And not quite, just make it a little bit more awkward by not lining up that last bit. Alright. There we go. Why are these not hooked up to power? Because we haven't linked up across here. And voila. And our output of that is not hooked up. Naturally. Uh, they're the wrong way, of course. Because why not? Now, what is this plastic waiting for? Petroleum. And what is the petroleum waiting for? To be hooked up? Yes, it is. There we go. Alright. No worries. Petroleum, 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 petroleum. Looks like we... Oh, I guess we had a little bit of backlog in the pipes. Uh, we haven't hooked up the water. All right, let's uh, let's copy that to that alignment. And we're off. Off and racing. We've got a heap of heavy oil sorted. These guys have stopped because we're all maxed out on heavy oil. Uh, this one needs to be if greater than. All right. Now we're cooking. Now I feel like I feel like we have massively massively miscalculated this. Let's go through this again. Every five seconds, this is using 10 coal, using 25 heavy ore, so it produces 90. Every five seconds, it produces 90. We use 25, so it's 65 every five seconds. So every second it's producing 15 heavy oil, that's right. It's producing 4 light oil and 2 petroleum. That's really bad, but alright. Um, okay, so this uses 40 heavy oil. Is there any way that 40 and 15 can work together? I'm just trying to think of a ratio because 10 is 150 which doesn't do 40 um, what have we got? 30, 60, 120 uh, how many is that? we're producing 15 a second 2, uh, 4 is 60 so 8 of these would produce 120 8 of these would produce 120 which would be enough for um, what do we say? Enough for three, six of these. 
And then these are crafting speed one. Yes, they are. Yep. Uh, and then six of these would produce uh, 90 light oil a second, plus the eight of these producing 32, 132 a second. I see that's still that math just goes really wonky with the two and um, two and four a second of the the light oil. I don't think there's going to be without a lot more finagling I don't think there's going to be a beautiful ratio of this um, so I'm pretty happy with that kind of arrangement and honestly I think we can just copy it that sounds pretty crazy sounds really crazy but I'm just gonna give it a go what if we just copy this whole thing um, without any of that other stuffs all right, let's copy that. Let's get rid of um, the wall, the lasers, the artillery, and do we have room? Oh God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. Um, do we have room over here? No. Uh, well, you know what? It'd be really nice if we could just reproduce this uh, going this way. That'd be that would be bloody amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, hmm. I think we I think we can do it. So we need these here, like so. Um, we don't we don't actually need a gap in between here, do we? Uh, inputs, outputs, doesn't really matter which way is which. No, it doesn't. Alright. Uh, let's just pop it in. Let's line it up with that one. Let's keep one in there just because it seems like the thing to do. Alright, where are we getting attacked? Oh, our boilers. Alright, let's. Ah, uh, oh God, I'm getting stuck on the piping. And I need to make sure that I do. Whoop. Need to make sure that I actually am able to defend myself by the time I get over there. It's... Otherwise, we would be in trouble. Um, I feel like these guys must have come in from over here. So let's pop a couple of these down, and of course, now I need to switch these back over. And play great work, guys. Uh, looks like. Looks like the base bots are going to do that, so let's just cancel them doing that. Alright. And uh, let's just make sure of this. Not really sure where they're coming in, but getting a little bit sick of it. Alright. Um, geez, I feel like we could have probably put a wall around here. That's alright. Okay, let's get back to our works over here. How are we going for pipe? Let's some extra pipe and I think we're going to need a few more of those all right so we just need to copy we've copied that row now we're up to this row uh, this reminds me I should really put some radars in uh, and let's get a nice alignment here Wonderful, and then that just leaves our big boy over here. And yep, let's just uh, totally expose ourselves here. Wonderful, alright. Exactly what we wanted to do. Pop that in. Go, pots, go. Man, they are a force of nature, aren't they? Alright. Uh, so, of course, that is now the wrong way. Sorry, bots. I know you just want to charge, but here we are. Alright, we need to hook up steam. Uh, 
we have coal. Interesting, I could have just put this steam over there. Hmm. Alright. This is, uh, we're, we're just trying new things. So there is the coal. If we have boilers here, uh, we just need water. Yep, alright. Okay, we need water here. Let's get our water here. We are going to need that water obviously for the other sections as well. Um, so there's our steam. And we still want to put that in a tank. For no reason I'm not entirely sure why I'm putting it in a tank. But I feel like putting steam in a tank is a good thing. Uh, now we need our heavy oil. Ooh, now we've kind of... Uh, we have kind of vetoed our heavy oil a bit. Yeah, we have. Alright. Um, how can we get that around? What if we did something like that? Oh man, not sure that I'm okay with that, but it works, it works. And there we go. Now I also actually want to bring uh, this down to here. So we are going to just need a little bit of this to get going. Um, how are we going to do that? We are going to get a pump here. Nope. There we go. And then that up. Let's get another tank here. Alright, well that's actually not what I want. I want to do uh, that. Uh, we want to do something like that, because we need to put a pump there to stop um, to stop us running out of of goodies. Alright, and we will copy that. Um, can I just do that? Yep, red circuit greater than. Alright, uh, so now we need this guy actually goes to there. Let's get one of these in here. Alright, we've got no heavy oil flowing because I have power this up. Yeah, alright. Power it up, power it up, power it up. Let's get a little bit of heavy oil over there, that's heaps. Alright, uh, and this way we don't waste too much of the oil. Alright, so that's no longer required. We are now producing here, and we're pumping it in there. Alright, our light oil goes here and here. Yep, so that is all our light oil to petroleum, and then our petroleum just goes across the belt. Uh, yep. Alright, like that. Now we had more of a gap there. We'll have to we'll have to jump under there. That's alright. Okay, so that also means we need you here. Uh, feeding in there, and we just need to hook up water. Great. All right, and there. And you there, and you there. Okay, you're working, you're working, and you're working, but you are out of petroleum. Now, why is that? Have we not hooked up 
the petroleum out of here. Shouldn't matter really. It's a not a huge amount. Alright. I really should uh, I really should tank these up, shouldn't I? And there is our plastic out. What we do with that, we will figure out next episode. Alright. Um, yeah, it's an interesting arrangement. Um, I think it works. But I couldn't say I am... Oh, it looks like we are missing items. What are we missing? Lights. Oh, that's right. Okay. Just lights. Just lights? Where are these missing lights? Ah, uh, over there. Okay. Looks like we are getting a little bit of attacks. Uh, let's just copy this over this direction, um, just in case. There we go, alright. And then hook this up over here. Wonderful, alright. Uh, with that, we will call this an end of the episode. I'm going to do a little bit of research on this ratio of things here. Um, it doesn't feel right. That is so such odd numbers. Normally, normally there is a clean ratio that works out. Um, we'll figure it out, and we will come back and hopefully not have to pull this whole thing apart because it works. It's just not super ideal. Um, what are we going to four, six, eight, ten, twelve? So we're producing twenty-four a second here, um, which is not bad, considering our only input here is water and coal. All right. Uh, next episode, we will take this plastic and turn it into red circuits. We'll need to bring in some copper plate and some green circuits to make that happen. But I think that's just a matter of setting up the trains for it. And both of those things currently have have stations throughout. A uh, bit of a bit of a hike up here for copper and yeah, making green and red on total opposite ends of the base probably wasn't the smartest thing. But hey, I'm sure it'll work and we'll have red circuits next episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.